Hello everyone, I hope that you had a chance to go through the last class where we discussed uh, sulfoxide sulfenate rearrangement which is also known as Mislow Evans rearrangement. It is a concerted process which involves 2,3 sigma tropic rearrangement. Just to look at it once, once more we are uh, talking about uh, this sulfoxide which is an allyl sulfoxide that means it is having a double bond here and then there is a sulfoxide which upon gentle warming gives allyl sulfenate ester. So, this is basically these two species are in uh, equilibrium with each other and they uh, uh, exist the equilibrium exists mostly on the allylic sulfoxide side because oxygen sulfur bond in allyl sulfenate ester is relatively weak. And uh, when this equilibrium exists uh, to some extent on this side and if during the reaction a thiophile such as uh, trimethylphosphite, uh, diethylamine or say uh, a, a secondary amine like uh, uh, piperidine is added, then um, there is cleavage of oxygen sulfur bond and allyl alcohol is released. Now, uh, this, an in, this is an interesting reaction because uh, as I discussed last time that uh, you can make an, an anion next to, um, next to the sulfoxide and react with an electrophile to form the carbon, uh, carbon bond. And uh, then uh, if you perform this reaction, you will get an allyl alcohol which uh, ha is having that substituent which we had introduced earlier next to the sulfoxide. That means at this carbon there will be a substituent. So uh, basically uh, one can introduce allyl sulfoxide uh, in, uh, in many different ways and uh, alkylate it uh, next to the sulfoxide and make use of it, this very important reaction in many synthetic endeavors. So uh, first uh, we would look at the mechanism of this reaction. As I mentioned last time that this sulfoxide, allyl sulfoxide with this negative, negatively charged oxygen here attacks onto this carbon here and this double bond moves and the carbon sulfur bond here breaks to form this allyl sulfenate ester. The allyl sulfenate ester can also uh, be prepared uh, from allyl alcohol upon treatment with uh, RSCl for example. We will uh, look at that part a little bit later. Now look at the mechanism of this, this reaction um, as I have uh, indicated earlier that we take uh, allyl sulfoxide. Now in this particular example what we have uh, done is to, to take this uh, allyl sulfoxide in which there is a substituent X here which is uh, cis to uh, this substituent R3 and then we have two substituents here R1 and R2 uh, next to the sulfoxide where R1 is larger than the R2 for example. Now in the equilibrium that exists between the allyl sulfoxide which is this allyl sulfoxide and the uh, allyl sulfenate ester, there is an equilibrium that is existing. Now during the process, during the transition state, what is going to happen is, is going to form a 5 member transition state, this is oxygen 1, sulfur 2, this carbon 3 
this carbon 4 and this carbon 5. This is what is the 5 member transition state. Now as you can see in the transition state that the geometry between the x here and the R3 is on maintained as cis. This is what is the cis to each other. This is what was present here as cis to each other. Here it is maintained because there is no reason for it to undergo any change. Now this particular carbon atom here as it adopts uh, a particular orientation in such a fashion that R1 group which is the larger group remains in a kind of pseudo equatorial uh, position. So R1 is in a pseudo equatorial position and R3 and H, R3 and H. Now since uh, R3 and X are cis to each other, so R3 and hydrogen are trans to each other. So R3 and hydrogen are trans to each other which is maintained in the transition state. This is what is here R3 and H, they are trans to each other. Which results in the formation of uh, uh, this allyl sulfenate ester, this is allyl sulfenate ester. And in this allyl sulfenate ester as one can see that uh, the um, R2 here and R3 are trans to each other and therefore R1 and the remaining group is also trans to each other. That is exactly what we are getting it from here. The R1 is cis to R3, R1 is cis to R3, R1 is uh, uh, trans to the remaining part of it here and therefore R2 and R3 they remain trans to each other. So it is a it's a, it's a concerted process, uh, it's, a, it's a concerted process and it allows this allyl sulfenate ester to form readily. Now as I mentioned earlier that you can make uh, uh, allyl sulfoxide, allyl sulfoxide which uh, can uh, this is allyl sulfoxide and this is in equilibrium mainly in uh, this sulfenate ester. Now as we said earlier that we can make an anion here and introduce an alkyl group or any group. So essentially what it means that this compound which can easily come from allyl alcohol upon treatment with phenyl S, Cl and say any base. So the base will take up the proton from here and the anion here will attack onto this sulfur to form this allyl sulfenate ester, allyl sulfenate ester. So you can start with an allyl alcohol, make the alpha allyl sulfenate ester which can undergo rearrangement to form this allyl sulfoxide. Then you can introduce here an Rx that is R group here which can give an R substitution here and of course then we can carry out further reactions to form say R here and OH here. So uh, these kind of reactions can be converted. So basically what I wanted to show that this allyl sulfoxide can be converted, this allyl alcohol can be converted to this uh, substituted allyl alcohol via this sulfoxide sulfenate rearrangement. Now the dethiolation uh, occurs by uh, using trimethyl phosphide which is a very uh, useful uh, thiophile. So uh, when the allyl sulfenate ester is formed 
the uh, trimethyl phosphide attacks with the lone pair of electron to the sulfur oxygen uh, bond here the, to the sulfur atom to break the carbon sulfur oxygen bond here. So, uh, what is happening is that when trimethyl phosphide attacks onto the sulfur this oxygen comes out with a negative charge and this is what is formed and of course you generate a species like this. Now with we have in the reaction medium methanol as a solvent, methanol is a solvent so the negatively charged oxygen then takes up the proton from the methanol and becomes allyl alcohol and then what is released is uh, this uh, phosphorus alpha uh, bonded species where there is uh, trimethyl phosphite species is present as a phosphonium ion and methoxide ion comes from the methanol. So this methoxide this particular removal gives this and of course you, you get, uh, get from here you will get methanol as methoxide ion. This is the methoxide ion that is present here and this attacks on to the positively charged phosphorus to form this intermediate. And this intermediate now as you can see that there is uh, 3 methoxy groups attached to the phosphorus and the fourth methoxy group which has come from methanol is, uh, is something that one can write like this which undergoes a decomposition to form trimethyl uh, phosphate here and, and of course a thioanisole. So um, this is the mechanism for the dethiolation of uh, allyl sulfonate ester using trimethyl phosphite as a uh, thiophile. Uh, on the other hand uh, amine derivatives uh, will, will straight away cleave the oxygen sulfur bond uh, that means if you have here say ROS phenyl and uh, you have uh, say you have a nitrogen containing uh, thiophile and of course methanol as a solvent then this lone pair of electron can directly attack and it can go to this O minus here which eventually will give the corresponding ROH. So this is how the thiophiles react uh, with allyl sulfonate esters and cleave the oxygen sulfur bond. So whenever such a, a reaction is being done that means allyl sulfoxide to allyl sulfonate rearrangement uh, you uh, use uh, any of the um, thiophiles and that allows the cleavage or shifting of the equilibrium to the right side. Now there are several uh, very interesting examples in the literature. For example, uh, as I have uh, mentioned earlier that the, the formation of allyl uh, sulfonate ester occurs uh, upon treatment of allyl alcohol with phenyl SCL triethylamine. So uh, for example in this, uh, in this particular example uh, which is uh, an allyl alcohol part here uh, and if it is treated with triethylamine phenyl SCL what directly is shown is this allyl sulfoxide. So in, in the earlier case that I showed just now was that you have allyl alcohol and when it is treated with in the presence of triethylamine that is phenyl SCL and triethylamine one can get OS phenyl and this is in this will be in equilibrium more on this side. So you have a lone pair of electron coming here and this is what is happening to form uh, here something like this. So you have uh, starting with an allyl alcohol 
you are getting an allyl sulfonate ester which is in equilibrium with allyl um, sulfoxide. Now this is what uh, this is what we have uh, seen in this particular case that this allyl alcohol here this alcohol here is converted to the allyl sulfoxide by the way I have shown the mechanism on the previous slide. Now this uh, of course upon treatment with the thiophile present in the reaction medium then allows the cleavage of the uh, allyl uh, sulfonate ester which will result from uh, this uh, particular allyl sulfoxide. Now you would be surprised to see that this is an allyl alcohol and this is also an allyl alcohol. There is nothing change, nothing difference here between these two parts here. The only difference that you can see is the stereochemistry here. The stereochemistry of the hydroxy group is beta here, beta oriented, beta oriented where here it is and it is alpha oriented. Now that means what we have done is essentially an epimerization of this molecule here to this molecule here. So when this uh, allyl alcohol which is having hydroxy group in an alpha position becomes allyl sulfonate ester undergoes a rearrangement to the corresponding sulfoxide and then this sulfoxide again undergoes a rearrangement to allyl sulfonate ester but not the previous allyl sulfonate ester. Now this undergoes rearrangement in such a fashion that the oxygen of the uh, allyl sulfoxide now comes from the beta side which is the preferred beta side. Why it is preferred is because of this particular uh, methyl group which is alpha and therefore the preferred site is the beta. So essentially this is nothing but an epimerization of one allylic alcohol to another allylic alcohol via this allyl uh, sulfoxide allyl sulfonate rearrangement or mislo evans rearrangement. So this is an equilibration of the stereochemistry of the allylic alcohol. This is a very interesting example which is uh, reported in the literature in 1990. Now another uh, very interesting uh, application that has been uh, reported in the literature is using um, uh, allylic sulfoxide. Uh, or this vinyl sulf this diene sulfoxide containing diene which is then converted to an allyl sulfoxide by diel solder reaction. So, so this diene which is present in here if this diene is, is uh, treated with uh, a dienophile of this type. Now this particular lone pair of electron allows to push the electron density in such a fashion so that there is a regioselective diel solder reaction. And this is what leads to the formation of this particular intermediate where the sulfoxide group here is uh, coming next to this particular junction here with and the double bond comes in here. This is the double bond. So a diene containing uh, a diene containing sulfoxide in a particular fashion oriented or situated in a particular fashion allows a regioselective diel solder reaction to form this and, and of course because of this particular this ring is beta oriented beta oriented sulfoxide is coming in an alpha fashion. Now when this undergoes 
uh, allyl sulfoxides are now sulfate in it here remain because now you have generated an allyl sulfoxide that undergoes allyl sulfonyl sulfoxide sulfate in here remain and interestingly this sodium sulfide uh, in the presence of water that is hydrated at 65 degrees was used as a thiophile to allow this reaction to take place. That means now this particular substrate will undergo a rearrangement to form allyl sulfinate ester and that allyl sulfinate ester that means in place of this it would be O S phenyl. This is what it will be here and then this is the one that is cleaved by means of sodium sulfide in water and methanol. So basically sulfide ion attacks onto, onto the sulfur here and then oxygen sulfur bond breaks to, to form the allyl alcohol part. Now since the geometry, since the stereochemistry of the Sulf carbon sulfur bond here in this particular part carbon sulfur bond which is uh, which is alpha oriented here particular one the transfer of the oxygen onto this carbon happens from the alpha side. So this is how uh, uh, an alkaloid which is known as uh, uh, Hassu banan alkaloid that has been synthesized by using this very crucial deal order reaction followed by al uh, allyl sulfoxide sulfinate rearrangement to form this uh, alkaloid. Now, uh, so one can generate as I have uh, mentioned just now that one can take the top example to shows, shows the allyl alcohol to be converted to the other allyl alcohol with change in stereochemistry via this uh, allyl sulfoxide. Now similarly deal order reaction can be done to form the allyl sulfoxide and then that can be converted to the corresponding allyl alcohol in many uh, in, 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 in a different way. Now, there is uh, another very interesting example which is uh, uh, reported in the literature is uh, basically uh, uh, converting uh, allyl alcohols to, to dienes. So it, it involves conversion of allyl alcohol to one three dienes. Now if one looks at uh, various procedures of converting allyl alcohols to 1,3 dienes. Uh, of course, one can straight away take you can take an allyl alcohol for example here and, and you can, can carry out some way a dehydration to form this diene. But this is a straight, straight method if there is no uh, specificity involved in a particular fashion. But for example, here we have an example of this kind of uh, substrate. Now uh, this substrate uh, can be converted to the allyl sulfinate ester by treating with this uh, uh, sulfenyl chloride in the presence of triethylamine as a base to form OA, OSAR. AR indicates the aromatic part that is this is basically nothing but this part. This is the AR part and from here we are attaching. So this is the AR part. So this is what allyl sulfinate ester is formed which will be in equilibrium with the allyl sulfoxide like this here like, like the way the mechanism is shown of course it would be more towards this side and less towards this side. Now this can undergo either back towards this or it is suitably uh, placed for the elimination of sulfoxide to form the diene. 
So you have converted this alcohol here by uh, essentially removing a proton in this way and subsequently accompanied by the loss of OH. This is what eventually that has happened. That means there is a loss of proton from here and a loss of hydroxide group, hydroxide from here and the diene is formed. But that has been done by a very interesting way of making this allyl sulfinate ester followed by allyl sulfoxide and which eventually gives this of course you will lose the carbon sulfur bond from here and you have uh, a diene that is formed. In a similar fashion one can start doing um, in a similar mechanism fashion you can have uh, the, uh, the conversion of this allyl alcohol to the uh, sulfoxide that would look like, uh, like this. Um, And when this undergoes elimination here this is formed. So it is uh, uh, now one can see the difference that one can see the, the difference. Now if we simply take uh, this alcohol and allow the dehydration to take place. So the dehydration will give this particular diene. Whereas if one goes via allyl sulfoxide method we get the diene in this fashion. So there is a, there is a very great uh, possibility of manipulating the allyl alcohol part in such a way that one gets the diene in a very specific fashion. In a similar fashion you have this tertiary allyl alcohol that uh, can also be converted to the, to the corresponding diene like this in using this particular strategy. Now there is a, a very interesting selenoetherification. Uh, it is used uh, to synthesize an advanced intermediate in the synthesis of natural products called milbemycin on our mectin. Now what is done here is uh, something that is uh, very interesting that they start with a diene of this type which has an alcohol here suitably produced alcohol. When this is treated with phenyl phenylalanyl chloride, now this is an example of not sulfoxide sulfinate rearrangement, but it is of an ex example of a selenoxide selenate rearrangement. Now they tried in this paper, they have tried to do a sulfoxide base chemistry and they were not successful. And therefore they did selenium based allyl selenoxide allyl selenate ester based chemistry and they were successful. So sulfur anal analog did not work and that is the reason why they did the selenium thing. Now what is happening here is that when this diene is taken and treated with phenyl selenyl chloride in the presence of sodium bicarbonate, what happens is this cyclization occurs to form a 5 member ring which of course has now selenide here which upon treatment with hydrogen peroxide forms the corresponding selenoxide that means this is going to form and that undergoes rearrangement to form this allylic alcohol of course via allyl selenate selenyl ester. Now interesting thing about this reaction is first of all how this 5 member ring is formed and for that 5 member ring formation this is what is supposedly taking place. The selenium attaches to the double bond here and 
a, a three membered selenium intermediate is formed which then has the double bond moving in this direction and this carbon selenium bond breaks and of course subsequently the uh, alcohol attacks onto this to form this particular intermediate. The only question that one can ask at this stage is the stereochemistry of the selenide. Now because the selenide is alpha oriented the alcohol is also coming alpha oriented because that is exactly what is going to happen based on this allyl selenoxide selene, allyl selenate ester rearrangement. So this work is somewhat difficult to explain but according to the public publication what they have suggested that this particular diene this it is basically a diene may adopt a twisted diene conformation which undergoes electronization this is the electronization here uh, as, as though it were a monoalkene. That means this diene is not behaving like a diene but is more like a monoalkene or a planar diene conformation which has considerable angle strain but is now conjugated probably more reactive and undergoes conjugate electronization to give the observed product. So uh, this 5 member ring formation is taking place mainly because of the, the diene that is behaving in a particular fashion. So uh, we will uh, stop at this stage uh, and we will uh, take some more examples of the uh, reaction, this particular reaction uh, for uh, uh, discussing the application of the self oxide sulfonate rearrangement and further reactions. So you can go and look at some of these uh, literature references if it is possible and get more idea about this uh, sulfoxide sulfonate rearrangement. I uh, mentioned about this particular uh, example undergoes electronization. It is quite likely that it is not this uh, hydroxy ketone but it is actually a, an acid here. So I will uh, check it uh, on this particular paper and get back to you uh, in the future class to clarify this lactone part of this particular example. So you please go ahead and, and study what I have told so far and we will see in the next class with some more examples and more applications. Thank you.